most infuriating first world problem. When going through self-serve at the supermarket and you take your groceries off wait thing too early so it thinks you're stealing. Then it stops and says wait for assistance so you have to awkwardly wave over the attendant. Have a refrigerator full of food but not wanting any of it to eat? So you grab the $500 smartphone and place a $20 order for pizza, soda, and wings. The pizza arrives and you tip the pizza guy a few bucks but only do it out of courtesy. You then proceed to sit down and flip through hundreds of channels that you pay for and deem nothing watchable. So you power on your expensive gaming device load up Twitch and watch people play a game you already own. Slice after slice until the pizza that could feed a family of four you don't even eat the crust you just throw it away. You aren't even watching the TV. You're on your phone on Reddit talking about the worst first world problems. Clown plastic packaging. And it's around a knife that you bought to make it easier to open said packaging. My theory is they do this on purpose so you have to do it the crappy way one last time so you can fully appreciate what you are opening. 100 plus games in your Steam library, but nothing interesting to play. When buds get caught in something and gets yanked out of your ears. Bonus points if it makes you drop your phone. When one of your earphones work. When your wallet is too fat with cash. You have to take it out of your back pocket to sit down. When you run out of episodes of a TV show after binging 50 of the previous seasons in the last 3 days. When Reddit goes down, when the video description says MILF but the girl looks like she's 20. Getting at my phone for hanging onto the one last bar of Wi-Fi when I can switch over to data. People don't know that a traffic light works like a four-way stop when a traffic light goes out. It's like driving through a demolition derby. Happened when I was passing through Houston. Everyone assumed it was the lawless west again and just went whenever and wherever they wanted. One guy got out of his car and lifted his shirt to show a gun in his belt because he felt he had the right of way, he didn't. I'm glad I was five cars back and had nothing to do with it. Oh hey I think I have a good story here. Recently I was coming home from work and I was out of my fancy flavored bubbly water, so I decided to stop at the grocery on my way back. I realized that I had left my wallet at home, no big deal, I'll just use my phone to pay I thought. Nope. Phone was on 3% battery and apparently Samsung Pay does not work at that level of charge. Luckily I had my wall charger with me, unluckily I didn't have the USB car charger. I had to walk up and explain my situation to an employee and then ask them if there were any outlets I could plug my phone into for a few minutes so that I could buy some raspberry flavored carbonated water. Wahoo TV show that's amazing, but knowing that it's extremely unlikely you will ever be able to find a TV show similar to said one that invokes feelings just as great. Summit a pepperoni pizza hot pocket in my box of meatball hot pockets. Cooked a meatball hot pocket and got pepperoni pizza. Hot being sold in packages of 10. Hot dog buns being sold in packages of 8. Having much food in your fridge and pantries that you become exhausted at the possibilities of cooking it, so you just eat out. Being hired to eat. Going to seas, falling in love ketchup Pringles, coming back home, realizing that they don't sell ketchup Pringles in your country. Effing devastated. The temps it takes to plug in a USB cable. Have your disposal 150 cable TV channels, on demand, HBO, Netflix, Hulu, etc. as well as 500 DVDs on the shelf, but there's still nothing good on. Batter causing impossible to open devices to die way quicker than they would with a removable battery. Feel sad because you're human and humans feel that way sometimes, but then looking at every wonderful privilege you have around you and feeling bad for feeling sad. Also tangled earphones, screw those naughty f. Loose slash breaking the wires for any electronic device. Pulled out a pair of $300 plus wireless headphones that were store for a while and the power cable just kind of disintegrated so I have to go buy another one. It's even worse when you don't even know what type of wire slash cable to buy because it's not indicated on the device. Or you know what you need but it's just not available online anymore. 
and women wonder why men all have a giant plastic tub full of wires in the basement. This is why. Everything connected to the internet and relying on it. I couldn't do my washing this morning because the internet was down where I live. In Markment building the laundry room has an app. You load up money on the app, like PayPal kinda, select your washer or scan the code, then press go and it debits your account. It's actually pretty slick as it will also send you a push notification when your clothes are done. Now our washers have a coin slot backup if your phone dies or the system goes down. However, I was in a dorm situation during a summer one time and those washers either needed the app or the credit card. If internet goes down there, it can't authorize anything. Orge laundry in the dryer and your clothes getting wrinkled. When you restart button instead of shut down. A raw chronic autoimmune diseases. There are a few theories, my fave being the hygiene hypothesis, we're much cleaner now, the immune system doesn't know how to handle it, freaks out. I have lupus so I've definitely got some skin in the game. Not a job so you have to live off the money the government gives you. Having a job but it pays a tiny wage barely enough for food and rent and bills but still more than 90% of the world earns. Went over to grab some water on the nightstand and accidentally spill it over your phone, tablet, wallet, and have to wake TF up and dry everything off really fast and you still don't even get your water. On the fast lane hogs. People who sit in the overtaking lane, without overtaking, and thereby effectively making it impossible for everyone slash anyone gong faster to pass. Especially if they deliberately match the speed of the vehicle in the lane next to them. Clear from a nice toilet splashing you in your freshly showered balls. Column cast. Trying to navigate their VRU, finally getting to a person, then finally speaking to John or Sally, who are entirely unable to help you, eventually being hung up on when they say they need to transfer you to another department. When our bucks order is wrong and I have to again have the internal fight between the social anxiety of asking for it to be remade and the cheap skate in me that can't stand paying $5 for a beverage I won't really enjoy. Getting that because you can't decide what food you want delivered at your door. I have panic attacks over this. When attic sinks don't sense your hand at the right time and you're just fisting the air with a handful of soap. When internet starts glitching out. I have to get my lazy ass up, unplug the router, stand there like an idiot for 29 seconds, then plug it back in. Oh woe is my life. When showered and dressed and come downstairs to get ready to go out the door and realize you left your socks upstairs. When Mart House light switches stop working because my computer rebooted. Then, before I go upstairs to bed, I have to walk around the house and shut off each light manually. All five of them. Manually. The newlet you just bought is too big to hold comfortably while lying down in bed, so you have to buy a case stand for it. Order Subway. I'd like a foot long, BLT on Italian, toasted, with ranch on it, on Italian. Yup. Foot long. Yes. And you said toasted right. 